Hey, hi everyone, this is Yash. And uh, in the last video, we saw how we can build a chatbot using OpenAI SDK. We'll start building the chatbot using Langchain now. Uh, I've realized like there are a lot of concepts where, which we can learn uh, in Langchain uh, while building chatbot. So I've decided to bake this video into like some few parts, maybe three, four parts, so that we can uh, learn about each uh, concept or each classes uh, that are present in Langchain that are required uh, for us to build this chatbot. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, chat prompt template and message placeholder that uh, Langchain has. We'll also talk about AI message and human message classes that are present. Uh, these are like, these two are small things, but uh, these this, these two are the main things that we'll focus in, on in this, in this video. Uh, so let's import those things and uh, we'll set the chat model to Foro Mini. So this should be familiar to you by now. Uh, let me just paste and show you how we can use chat prompt template. Uh, so this chat prompt template is basically the prompt template that we used earlier in the uh, while building the Amazon reviews analyzer project. So there we defined some variables uh, in our prompt and this is similar to that. So in chat prompt template we define variables uh, with respect to the messages that are there. And for that we use message placeholder. So this line basically means like uh, there will be some more messages here in in this place which we'll pass in using this uh, variable name called messages later on when we call invoke uh, so we have defined like three messages here one is the system message uh, you are a savage assistant and uh, in between there can be some n number of messages whatever we pass in uh, i'll show you how we use this uh, message variable so that we replace this line and then there is this third message called uh, for, for human message which is uh, uh, which is just saying like what's my name and then we can invoke this prompt by passing in the variable values now so we have one variable here for messages and we are defining a uh, value for messages here which is a list of two two messages now so this is like uh, you can imagine like we can plug in the history chat history here and uh, in our history right now there are let's say only two messages so first message is hello my name is yash and agent just said hi this is the chat that we had till now till now with our agent with our with our assistant so uh, what will happen when we run this uh, and uh, let's say i print the stuff prompt so if you see here the first message is the system message uh, you are a savage assistant and this is coming from this system message that we defined here and the next is the human message which is hello my name is yash and if you see this is actually coming from here the input that we gave so this message is replaced by uh, hello my name is yash a human message and then we also have the ai message the assistant message which says just hi so these two messages were picked and put here and then of course we have the last human message which says uh, what is my name so this is how the uh like the chat prompt template works where uh, we have the variable and we replace the variable with these values we can go ahead and uh, you know invoke the final chat with this stuffed prompt that we have just to see what response we get and uh, when we print the response here so you see the final uh, ai message that we get is your name is yash got a memory like a goldfish good so uh, it's it's basically uh, we have constructed this whole uh, conversation and we have sent it to get this response uh, which is good like you see like this can be uh, you know useful in in building chatbot so we can have like chat history here and the actual input here we'll see how we'll do that uh, but one more thing about uh, you know chat prompt template is not just messages you can also use the uh, actual variable names as well just like how we did for the previous project. So let's say instead of savage, we can have like, we can have uh, a variable name called personality. And then uh, this personality, we can send it here itself. So we can define personality as let's say funny or something. And now when we uh, see this stuffed prompt, you see the system message, it says you are a funny assistant. So even this variable was replaced by the values that we sent. Uh, yeah, so it it's not just a message placeholder, but it's like 
the usual variables also we can define and we can replace these values here that's how this works and then uh, yeah like of course we can run the whole cha uh, whole chain and see your name is yash nice to meet you yash if i had a hat i'd tip it to you nice so uh, it's giving like emojis and all this is amazing uh, so you see like uh, we we have these this chat prompt template now which we can use with uh, message placeholder to put things in place uh, one one more thing is uh, we have used human message and ai message classes here we can use this uh, same classes to define messages here as well so basically what i mean is uh, instead of uh, you know using this tuple and uh, uh, calling it like human and actual content we can use human message here as well and uh, maybe we can replace this content here and we can remove this uh, line so we can uh, create this messages like this even for system we can use like a system message here we can import import uh, a class called system message and use that so these are just ways in which you can define uh, messages this is just so that uh, you know like we can do it this way as well and even here we can uh, use tuples instead of uh, you know using this class so these are just ways in which you can write the code so even this works uh, just fine uh, you can experiment and see uh, this 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 is not like very important but just so that you know we can write it in a different ways right uh, so that's all for this tutorial uh, main part was this uh, chat prompt template and message placeholder and how to use it uh, we'll uh, learn more things and build our chatbot using langchain in the next parts thanks for watching guys bye